hello I am so glad you can join me today if you're new to this channel welcome if you've been here before welcome back have you ever been into the mall and as soon as you get into the mall there's this smell that comes to your to your nostrils and it is so good the smell of cinnamon cinnamon rolls or, or cinnabons usually are cinnabons that come to you and the smell is so good but you say to yourself nope I'm not even gonna entertain that thought I'm gonna go do my shopping I'm not gonna have them I know they're very good but I'm not gonna have any and you go you do all your shopping and by the time you finish your shopping you are hungry and that smell is just and a little voice is telling you go get a Cinnabon and another voice is saying oh you don't need a Cinnabon but <laughs> but you decided you're gonna listen to this voice and you're gonna go get a Cinnabon they're so good they're buttery and cinnamon and the smell is so good it was like oh you close your eyes when you take the first bite well today we're gonna make some Cinnabons I got a few messages people asked me to make cinnamon rolls so this is Cinnabon slash cinnamon rolls they're the same thing so we will be making them today I'm excited so come along with me and I will show you exactly how I make my Cinnabons after you make these for yourself that smell is not gonna affect you anymore because you know you can make them at home yourself so let's get started I have here four cups of flour to my four cups of flour I'm going to add my yeast I have some yeast here this is one tablespoon of yeast I'm going to add that in there this is half a cup of sugar I'm going to add my sugar in here it's stuck to the half a cup of sugar and I'm going to take my spoon and I'm going to mix this up gonna mix this up together I have here half a teaspoon of salt you can use one teaspoon of salt but this is a coarse salt so I use half a teaspoon and I'm just gonna throw that in there mix that all up here and over here I have some butter and I have one I'm gonna use one stick of butter which is like half a cup of butter and I am going to drop my butter in there leave your butter out to come to room temperature or you can just put it in the microwave and melt it a little bit so your butter is nice and soft so you can add your butter to that we're making cinnabons these things I mean when you put the cinnamon in these things this you can smell them for distance so in here what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use my hand and you're going to make sure your fingers are always clean before you put your fingers in the food and that's what I did. So I'm going to take my butter and I'm going to mash it up here with my flour. Just mix everything together. Just combine it here with a flour. I'm going to do that and the sugar and everything in here. Just mix it up well. It should look like little pebbles when you're done. And then I'm going to use my hand, my stand mixer here, guys. But if you don't have a mixer like that, you can also do this on your counter. You can just knead it on your counter. You've seen me done that before. And this is what your flour here looks like. This is what it looks like with the butter inside of it, okay? So I'm going to set up my mixer here. Put this in here. And I'm going to turn it on to low. I let it mix my flour up. Okay, guys, so in here I have one cup of milk. So I'm going to add my milk to my flour. So you pour the milk in. 
This is one cup of evaporated milk. You can use whole milk. That's evaporated milk. That's one cup. Oh, that's one cup of evaporated milk. But what I didn't say to you is you also need to warm your milk. Your milk, you need to be warm for about 20 seconds. You can warm it up in the microwave, okay? Make sure it is nice and warm before you add the milk to your flour. Okay. Now, I also have three eggs. And I'm going to add my eggs to my mixer as well. Add them in one at a time. Let it mix in there. I'm going to let this mix up here for maybe about three minutes, three or four minutes. Normally when I'm baking bread, I'll say to you, let it mix for at least 10 minutes. When you're doing um, the cinnamon rolls, it don't have to mix as long. It could be like three to five minutes, okay? Or if you're kneading it, you just need it about three or four minutes, okay? So I will be back in like three or four minutes when this is all kneaded. Okay, guys, time to take it off now. So I had this in here for about four and a half minutes. So now I'm going to take the dough out of it. You see when I press it, it's not sticking to my hand. But it is nice and moist. Take this off. Take that off. We don't need that anymore. This is our dough here. So now I'm going to take this out of here. Take this little bit out. It's stuck to the bottom. Put it on there. We need that. Oh, I'm breaking up stuff. Okay, guys. So this is our dough right here. It is good. It's not sticking to our fingers. It is good. So now you just roll it a little bit, make a nice ball out of it. And this is how you're going to make your, your dough for your cinnamon, for your Cinnabons. Okay. So that's it. So I have a nice bowl here. So what I'll do is I'm going to put a little bit of oil in my bowl. Just enough to, that way when I put my bun in here, it doesn't dry out, okay? So this is our roll here for a bun. And I'm going to put it in here. Just kind of cover it a little bit with the oil. Yes, and I have a towel, a clean towel. I'm going to put this towel over it. Now guys, what I'm going to do is put the dough to rise. Now I'm going to put it in the oven. I turned my oven on earlier and I turned the oven off and leave it, left it in there to just stay warm. So this is a nice warm place for the yeast to be able to, to work and do its thing. So I'm going to put this in the oven and I'm going to leave it there for one hour. In one hour, I'm going to come back. It should have risen. It should have doubled in size. And then I'll go on to the next process and show you what I'm going to do next. Okay, guys, before I show you the dough, I just want to say something really quickly. There has been an eruption in St. Vincent. And I just want to say to all those people, a volcanic eruption in St. Vincent. So to all those people living in St. Vincent, I just hope that everyone get out of the path of that volcano. I hope I understand there's some cruise ships that are supposed to come in and get the people off the island. I hope they've been able to get everyone off the island because I know with this ashes, it's kind of hard 
I understand it's hard for the ships and so on to see to navigate their way in there but I hope everybody is safe I hope there's no injuries I hope everybody get off the island I know that Barbados sent a couple ships out to evacuate some of those people off of the island of St. Vincent so I hope all of you were able to get off the island okay and everyone is safe so I just want to say that because you know I don't want anyone to be in harm's way okay so now let's look at our dough so my dough has risen it has doubled in size so what I'm gonna do is I have a little flower here I'm gonna take a little flower and just put it on my workstation here now I'm gonna take my dough here and to sprinkle a little bit on, on top of that and you press down your dough a little bit and we're gonna and what I'm gonna do with this dough is I have a rolling pin I'm gonna take my rolling pin and I'm gonna roll this dough out okay guys we're gonna roll it out and we're gonna roll it into a rectangular shape so let me get my rolling pin I'm gonna put a little bit of flour on my pin just to make sure and we're gonna I'm gonna roll it out into a rectangular shape and then I'm gonna go this way and just spread it out a little bit and come this way See guys, I bought myself a bigger rolling pin. The one I had before was too small. It used to hurt my hand. So I want it to be a nice shape. So I'm just gonna, so that I can keep the shape. Okay, we wanna keep our shape. I'm gonna get a measuring tape and measure this okay guys I'm gonna measure this and I want it to be about 16 by 11 okay so we have our rectangular shape and I'm going for 16 by 11 so let's see if I'm close I have a tape over here, a measuring tape, and <laughs> pretty good guys, right here, 16 by 12, 16 by 12, perfect, perfect, that's exactly what I want here, so now the next thing I'm going to do is this. But in this bowl, I have one cup of sugar, one cup of brown sugar. And to my brown sugar, I am going to add, let's see here. That's one. Two. About two and a half tablespoons. Of cinnamon to the sugar and then I will take a spoon and just mix it up mix it up mix it up mix it up come over here mix it up because some of the, the the sugar sometimes get into little clogs so you're gonna mix it in, mix it in well. So this is the sugar and my cinnamon here. I'll put that aside for a minute. Over here, I have some butter. This is softened butter that I have. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your butter and then just spread the butter out like that, all over. 
It is cinnamon rolls, guys. Cinnabons. It has a lot of butter and a lot of sugar, but it is so good. So you spread it all the way out to the end. Make sure it's covered all over. Uh, ooh, all over. Make sure. Put some more over here. Spread it out. Take it to spread this amount that's here. Spread it out. Spread it all over. You probably, guys, you're probably going to smell this right through that video that you guys can be watching. You're going to smell it right through there. God, these things smell so good and it tastes so good. When you eat it, you just go like, mmm, it's so good. Okay. So that's it right there with the butter. That's enough butter. Don't need any more right now. So I'll put that there. And then I'm going to take my sugar and I'm just going to put my sugar in there. All of that sugar, all of it, guys, all of it in there. And then spread it out. You're going to spread it out. It's going to go all over. Just spread it out. All the way to the end. Make sure I put my sleeve up because we don't want our sleeves to get in here. We spread it out all the way to the end. We spread it out. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes, spread it out like that. And then I'm gonna take my, if we can find it. Once I spread it out like that, my little, should we move this from here. My little sugar that come on the table, I'm just gonna pick it up like that. Sprinkle it back on there. So you're not wasting anything. You just put this back over here because I'm going to need that again. Just take that little bit of sugar. Put it back there because we're not wasting anything. So then what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my roller and then just roll over it like that and this is just going to press down the sugar a little bit just to stop it from that when you're rolling it that the sugar doesn't just um, come up and you know go all over the place so kind of press the sugar in and that's it you can just rake off that little sugar and stuff that goes on your pin Put it back on there and that's it. So now what I'm going to do is kind of like a bad angle that I'm at, but I should have it the other way. But anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll it. Okay. I'm going to roll it so you can stretch it and roll it, stretch it and roll it. I am at a bad angle guys. I should have had it turned around I just roll it. We get my to kind of put it right there so when I roll it it's not right so you just pull it a little bit and roll it pull it a little bit and roll it pull it a little bit and roll it try to roll it tight okay try to roll it a little bit and roll it Yeah. 
my angle rolling is not as I said great because I did it the wrong way but and roll it okay, so now we have our length waist already rolled so I'm gonna cut it and put it in this pan I'm gonna bake it in this pan so what I'm gonna do is some of the butter that's left over I'm gonna go ahead and grease the pan I'm going to go ahead and grease the pan so um, I would be able to put these in here. Probably should have greased the pan before so that you don't have to watch me greasing the pan, but I'm kind of a little bit behind. So. Okay, so this is the pan here that I'll be using. Hey guys, so now we have our roll here and you, we're going to cut our roll, but we want our roll to be even. Now my roll at the end didn't roll as well and that is because I had it, the angle was bad. I should have had it from this way so I could have rolled it better. So that's why I have all of that left over there, but that's okay. So what you do is you measure it out and then you can cut it in half. So I would say, um, cause I'm going to have to cut off this part. So I'm going to say here, I'm going to cut it maybe like 10 inches right here right here so I'm just marking it right now okay so I'm gonna cut off this piece right here so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna mark it at two here I'm gonna mark it at four six and eight so it here so I mark everywhere where I am going to cut okay you have to mark it so you cut everything on this the same size now I have here my knife I have two different knives here but my knife then to me they're not very sharp and if you don't want your um, dough to kind of lose the shape there's an there's another way to cut it. if you have a very sharp knife you can cut it with a sharp knife. Mine is not that sharp. So I have here a piece of string, okay? And I'm gonna cut it with this. So I'm gonna put it on the here. I'm gonna put it under my, and I'm gonna come to the part where I marked it, and then I'm just gonna cut it like that. Okay? And it have its shape like that. So that's one way for you to do it. If you don't have a sharp knife, just get a piece of string the way I do go under to where you want to cut it okay to where you have it marked and you just cut it like that one two three that's a much easier way to cut it and you get a nicer um cut that way Almost done guys. Almost done cutting my bonds. <clears throat> and this one here, which is not, we cut this one here. Wonderful guys, wonderful. And this is our cinnabon slash cinnamon rolls okay so now i'm gonna put them in this pan so i'm gonna pick i'm just gonna pick it up a little bit turn it over and just kind of flatten down the top a little bit you take it up and put it inside of your pan like that flatten it down a little bit like that and there we go These look like they're ready to eat. <laughs> Just flatten it up a little bit and put it there. You don't want to put them too close to each other because they're going to expand and they need room to expand. Okay, so you need to give them the space to be able to expand. Okay, guys? That's it. That's what they look like. So now, as I said, I'm going to put them down. I'm going to cover them again in the towel that I just had. And I'm going to put them down for 30 minutes. 
when the 30 minutes is up I'm going to turn the oven on to 375 and put them in the oven and leave them in there for about 15 or 20 minutes you don't need to cook them for a very long time okay and then we're gonna make a sauce you know that gooey white sauce that goes on the top that little creamy sauce on the top we're gonna make some okay so I will be right back okay guys these are the rolls they has risen gotten a little bigger so now I'm gonna go ahead and put them in the oven for 375 for about 20 minutes 15 to 20 minutes and then I will be right back okay guys the rolls are all done look over here oh guys this cinnamon it smells so good so these are very hot because I just took them out of the oven so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set them aside for 15 minutes while they're sitting while they're sitting for 15 minutes I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna make a little cream sauce that's gonna go on the top that little drizzle sauce we're gonna make that to go on the top so while I'm making that these will cool and then I'll add it on while it's still a little bit warm okay so let's go on to our next step okay guys so this is what we're gonna do now to make our nice sauce that's gonna go on the top so here I have four ounces of cream cheese cream cheese leave your cream cheese out at room temperature so you can get it nice and soft okay here I have three fourth cups of powdered sugar I'm gonna mix the two together and just mix just combine the two I'm using this spoon here to combine it, but I'm gonna get my my um, mixer and mix it up, which would which would mix it up a little smoother. Okay, I'm going to add to that a couple tablespoon of evaporated milk and to this I'm going to add I add one tablespoon of vanilla essence you can add a little bit less but this vanilla essence sometimes I have to put a little bit extra in order to get the flavor and that's it so I'm gonna mix this up I'm gonna get my mixer and I'm just gonna mix this up to get it nice and soft so I can kind of pour it over there if it's too thick, you can add more liquid to it. Yeah. This is what you get when you go to the mall, guys. And it smells so good when you're at the mall. Now you can make your own. And these are your Cinnabon Slash cinnamon rolls so now you have the recipe you know how to make them and you can make them yourself I will taste these for you and tell you exactly what they taste like okay so let's taste them okay guys let's get it out of here all that glaze and stuff at the bottom have it stuck to the bottom Let's get it out. Yes. And look at it, guys. Look how soft it is. Look. Oh, this is what you go to the mall and you spend so much money to get one. Oh, let me taste it for you. Mmm. Mmm. Guys, that is so nice and soft. It's almost like chewy. It is so nice and soft. Mmm. Let me hold it in my hand. I need to hold it in my hand. You gotta, you gotta eat the sticky bun in your hand. You see, you have the sugar, the cinnamon, and so on. It's caramelized to the bottom. Then you have your little cream at the top. Then you have your nice soft sticky bun with all your nice cinnamon buttery cinnamon sugar butter on the inside mmm 
That is so good. It's so nice and so it almost it melts in your mouth. Seriously, it melts in your mouth. It's nice and it's warm. And it just melts in your mouth. Oh. Um. That is so good. Guys. Mm. Guys. This is so good, guys. You make this, you're not going to be you're not going to regret it. It is nice. And when you chew on it, it like almost melts. It just melts in your mouth. That's how good it is. It is nice. Oh, and that that glaze on the top is good. You taste the vanilla in there, and you have the little milk in there. You can, you, you know, you don't have to make it a stick. You can make it a little bit lighter. But it is good. I love it, guys. I hope you can make yourself some cinnamon slash cinnamon rolls for you and your family. These were delicious. So I hope you can follow this recipe and make them exactly the same way. You're going to love it. Thanks so much for joining me. Don't forget to share, like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I love to read your comments. And don't forget to press that bell because every time I put a video up, you will be notified. And guys, don't forget to press the thumbs up. I know sometimes it's hard. You watch the video, you click off, you forget to press the thumbs up. Don't forget to press the thumbs up. I had fun making this for my family. I hope you have fun making some for your family as well. Until next time, bye-bye.